Good afternoon, it's Wednesday the 12th of September. I'm back at Napton Reservoir today. I've come up onto the big half of the reservoir today though, right up at the top end, and I've had a good look round uh, for the past sort of three quarters of an hour. There's a lot of people fishing down on the causeway and on the um, other half of the reservoir, the smaller half where I was the other day. And I've had a good look all up these swims here and all round here. And there's a couple of spots a bit further up where they've been raked and cleared and there's nobody um, fishing up there but they look a little bit shallow but as I was coming round I noticed I've seen a bit of activity in front of this swim here it's a bit deeper water here normally I wouldn't fish here in the corner I used to fish these many years ago and never had a great deal of success but with the water level being down they're just that bit shallower and I think it might be worth a go anyway I'll get my gear ready and I'll give it a go now Hello there, you okay? Hi. Sorry, I forgot to mention what I'm actually fishing for today. And I'm actually here for tension crucians again today. I've not given up on catching a few. I spoke to a chap that I know that I met down here previously called Bob. I saw him the other day when I was here. And he was telling me that the tench have really come on now and they've been doing quite well. Um, he was down here in the spring when I caught the carp when I was tench fishing and I've not seen him since. He's been over at um, Jubilee Pools where I fish and he's been catching tench but he said it's worth having a go for now. This is when I was perch fishing the other day. So that's why I'm back here and that's what I'm going to have a go for. Right, finally ready to start. It's taken me a little while to sort things out with the rocks and that. Anyway, I've got two lines of attack. I've got my little 11 foot rod, centre pin, three pounds straight through, a small two and a half BB, very fine insert crystal, which I used the other day. I've got 2BB round the float at the moment and then six inches from the hook I've got a little number eight uh, and then I've got another one six inches above that and I'll obviously alter that shotting pattern but that bottom shot I've plumbed the depth so that bottom shot is just sitting on the bottom there and I'm going to be fishing a rod length out from the reeds that are next to me is the one line of attack and I've also set up um, a little 10 foot feeder rod, small feeder, just on a little running rig, down to a size 12 hook. And on here I'll be fishing sweet corn um, over a bed of hemp and ground bait and a few casters. And on this one, I'm going to be fishing bread flake to start off with and I'll be baiting the swim with a tub of mashed bread that I've brought with me. So, that's my plan of attack. I'll just put that one rod away one moment and then I'll make a start. We'll see if we can get something. Right, I'm going to start on uh, the quiver tip but what I've done I've dispensed with the feeder and I've put on a little three swan link ledger because there's a bit of weed about I've lightly pinched those on so what will happen is that should fish get into any weed those swan shot will slip off and I'm going to put this out just there make a start with this whilst I base up the inside swim I 
I've already put some hemp and some casters out over there as well. I can see one or two bubbles coming up, so... Who knows? Yes, there's a nice fizz just coming up out there now. In the meantime, I shall keep feeding this inside line. Ready for a bit later. I knew there'd be some weed here, but that's what the tench like is the weed, so I like it or lump it, that's where you have to fish. Certainly getting an autumny feel now. And there's some apple trees behind me that are just all starting to fall off. All ripen quite well. Blackberries as well. And I don't mean the phone. And some of the leaves are actually turning yellow on a few of the trees back there. Still in a couple of weeks it will officially be autumn. Well the fish aren't playing ball at the moment, it's very quiet. I've um, had about an hour on the quiver tip earlier and apart from the odd half-hearted pluck, nothing. And I've just been on back on the float for or on the float, should I say, not back on the float, for 20 minutes on this inside line and nothing, but I've just seen a few bubbles coming up out where I've been feeding on the quiver tip line, so I'm going to go back out there for a little while and give that a go. Well, it's taken quite a while and I've come off the link ledger because there's too much weed out there I felt and I wasn't getting many fish so I've come back over to where I've been baiting up with the mashed bread and I've had a bit of a result it's taken about 20 minutes I should think but eventually I've got something it's pulling well whatever it is not 100% certain at the moment ah it is a tench at long last. I was beginning to think it wasn't going to happen. And on the centre pin too. I started to see a few bubbles coming in closer. So I guess that, oh he's got a horrible bump on it. There we go, anyway. We've got one, that's the main thing. Well, that's got a horrible bump on it and all. Not the prettiest tench I ever caught. But a tench, nonetheless. Oops, it's a bit precarious on here, as you can see. So I'm not going to jiggle about too much. Let me get the unhooking mat. Put that down so we don't do it any harm.
You have to be careful because they're so slippery. Yeah, it's got a horrible fin on it. And look at the lump on the side of that. I don't know what that is, but it's it's not very pretty. Still, it is a tench. I'll slip that back. It's only, what? About two and a half, three pound, I should think. Well, I think I'm going to have one last cast and then I'm going to call it a day. The other anglers are drifting away as well. Doesn't look like we're going to get any more. Bit of a shame, but that's how it goes. Still, saved from the blank by the ugliest tench I've ever seen. So I'm going to call it a day now, but once again, thank you ever so much for watching, and until the next time, all the best with your angling.